Hey, this is Eric over at Tri-State Public Safety, and today we're going to take a look at the Star ULB28 split visor bar. Now, you may be uh, familiar with the ULB24. It's been around for a while, and it's a really very nice uh, visor-like bar. We sell a lot of them, but Star needed to keep up with the demand and the customer's needs and expectations, and that was dual color because that's the hottest thing out right now, and that's where the ULB28 comes in. So in a dual color configuration, um, and there are multiple color choices available, there are also multiple different mounting configurations available. You'll notice kind of the tall back on this one, both sides. That's actually for, um, this bar in particular is for a Dodge Charger. And so the Chargers have a little bit different bracket design, so that they will tuck up and fit real nice up against the headliner. Uh, this is obviously a split visor bar, so you notice the cord in the middle. That cord is going to be, I don't know, roughly 16 inches or so. So you got plenty of room in between each section of heads. There are 96 Gen 4 LEDs throughout this bar. Four sections of LEDs on either side. And, of course, dual color configuration. We're going to go through a lot of different specs on this because this bar actually has a lot of technology built into it. Uh, it is available in a hardwire version only, so you're going to need some sort of, you know, switch box or whatever to control it, but that's, you know, that's no big deal. Um, it also does have the floodlight mode built into it because that's typically what everybody is, is looking for nowadays. And uh, so let's go in a little bit closer and let me show you these LEDs. All right, so we're in a little bit closer now and you can see kind of the unique design of the reflector in front of these LEDs. This is what Star is calling their Linium X technology. And it's uh, kind of a weird lens design because if you'll notice, it's got some ribbed kind of fluted uh, sections right down here at the bottom and at the top as well. And then like a bulb kind of circular deal right over the top of the LEDs. So kind of a weird design, but it works. It's very effective. It's got a very wide spread of light and it works really well also for the dual color uh, LEDs that you'll get. So you have four sections and unlike the ULB24 where they have this second section right here is actually kind of angled sideways for better intersection visibility. With the size of these LEDs they couldn't do that so they had to just do uh, basically forward, space, uh, forward facing and just kind of stacked in progression. Uh, of course it does have a very very nice uh, metal. This is not plastic so it's not going to warp in the sun. This is a, uh, a metal shroud that is all powder coated. And again, multiple different uh, mounting brackets are available as well. Okay, so we're going to go in a little bit closer here, so bear with me. Hopefully the camera is going to stay focused. In the passenger side version of the bar, or not version, but passenger side of the bar, there's going to be a programming port up here. As we get a little closer, you'll be able to see that down low in that little black section down there, uh, those are three dip switches that will allow you to do extra programming. Of course, there's a port over here in case you had multiple installs or multiple vehicles that you needed to clone the same programming from one bar to another. Um, you can, of course, do that. And then there's a little instruction manual up here. I know it's kind of upside down uh, that, that shows you how to program the bar. Of course it's also inside their instruction manual but just wanted to get in close and show you that there are three dip switches and then just to the right of the dip switches there's two little squares that have a black circle. Those are also used in programming as well. So just wanted to point that out. Now obviously when you go to install this there will be a, a metal plate that will cover this so it will look nice and neat when it goes in the vehicle. Now as far as programming, uh, it's very easy. It's all done through color-coded wires that come out of the cable. And you're going to have essentially 31 different flash patterns to choose from. And then you're also going to have a couple different phases. So the way STAR has set this up is phase one is a flashing mode, but it's predominantly slower. And, you know, maybe for less urgent calls. Or... Um, you know, maybe you do a different job and you needed that less urgent, uh, you know, phase one deal. Then there's also a, a level two, and that is considered a higher urgency. Uh, it is typically faster 
than level one, and it will also override level one. So if you go into a level two programming, of course you can set this up in whatever color combination you need. Level two will override level one. This bar also has California uh, Steady Burn built into it, and you get to pick you know, uh, what module or modules you want to be on Steady Burn, should that uh, interest you. It also has a DEM mode. So for nighttime use, um, and this is a very bright bar, uh, should you need to dim it down for nighttime use, that is available. Uh, there's also nine different traffic patterns that are built into this, should you uh, desire, uh, desire to use that. And uh, the phase two selector is gonna allow you to program which heads flash together and which ones are off. And, uh, and you really are not probably gonna get a very good sense of that until you get one yourself and you start to you know, play around with it and go through it. But a uh, total of 31 different flash patterns and of course Made in America, five year warranty. And let me go ahead and turn it on here and uh, we'll take a look at it. All right, well here she is. We went ahead and turned it on for you. As you can see, very nice and bright. I'm gonna go through a couple of patterns now. Uh, this bar is set up blue-white. Also, if I didn't mention, this light bar is very low profile. It's uh, essentially just about an inch tall. Okay, so let me go ahead and turn on the takedown lights for you, or flood mode. Now, if you don't want to use the flood mode, you don't have to. Um, you can actually set this up where uh, two or four or six or whatever, how many uh, sections of LEDs you want to use as takedowns. Uh, that is built in. And again, that's a programming feature that uh, you can set up. Okay, so now we have the dual color activated. Again, this is just another wire. Um, comes out of the wiring harness, no big deal. Uh, we are about uh, four feet or so away from the light bar, so it's probably going to be a huge blur, and you may not really be able to see the colors too well. So I'm going to go off at an angle a little bit and show those to you. Okay, so here we are at a little bit of an angle. Hopefully you can see the colors a little bit better. Um, white and blue, there's really not a huge color difference between those two because they're so close in color, but uh, you might be able to see it a little bit better. I'm going to back, uh, back up a little bit farther here and see if that will help you. So here you can see the reflection on the wall of uh, kind of how close it gets to the, you know, the spread of light, how far it goes out. This is what it looks like in the room with the lights off. And make no mistake, this is a very bright light bar, and especially when you're talking dual color technology with all the features this one has in it as far as, you know, the different phases and uh, low power mode and the California steady burn mode and all that kind of stuff. It may not be necessarily some features that you will need, but to have it already built into the light is uh, a very nice deal from Star. And so you're not really having to pay extra for stuff that you don't need, but if you do need it, it's, it's already there. I wanted to come back to the flood mode real quick. So again, you can kind of see the, uh, the reflection on the wall and uh, see how far it kind of reaches out. That's what it looks like with the light off.
Okay, I did want to show you the uh, California Steady Burn deal where you can actually pick uh, what heads you want to be on. Yeah, we're going to find a little button there. So as you can see, just real quick, we're just uh, going through, and you, you get to pick what head you want on. And then if you wanted to go ahead and flash it, that one head, whichever one you picked, would be staying on steady. All right, so that's a basic overview of the Star ULB28 interior visor light bar. I failed to mention this is also available in a half version. So if maybe you can't afford you know, a full-size deal. You can only afford half. Um, that would be a passenger side only model, just four heads, uh, still dual color configuration. Um, white is going to be the secondary color, so your other colors will be any combination, you know, uh, basically amber, blue, red, or green. And then you'll have that flood mode built into it. And then, of course, if you want, you can have white flashing, you know, with amber, with blue, with red, with green, whatever. Or if you want to keep it just like this and use a single color and then have the flood mode and or takedowns available when you need them. Totally your choice. So I thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, always give us a call at 513-422-5775. And uh, we'll answer all your questions the best we can. This is a newer bar. It's been out for about a year. And uh, very bright. And I think for the price and the, and the technology that you get, it's well worth the money. So thanks for watching.